how's it going guys? Welcome back to The Holler. My name is Kevin, hey, and if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to thank you for coming and check the channel out. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Today, I have a smoked salmon recipe for you that we're gonna cook on the pit barrel cooker. We're gonna start with a homemade mayonnaise that we're actually going to spread on top of the fish. Then we've got another rub to go on top of that. And to top it all off, we got a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So sit right there and let's get to cooking. All right guys, let's make some mayonnaise. We'll start off with one whole egg. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add four teaspoons of uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then we're just gonna do just a dash of mustard, maybe about one teaspoon. Now, just a little bit of white pepper. We're doing white because we don't want to color with black pepper. Now just a couple of pinches of uh, salt. Now go ahead and let's mix this up really good. You need to get all these ingredients incorporated first um, before we start adding our oil. Alright, now that's all done. I have one cup of oil here. I actually have half vegetable, half canola. And the trick to this is to turn your blender on and start adding it very, very slowly. You don't want to dump it all in at once because it will separate on you. So like I said, just go ahead and add it slowly. Now once about all your oils in there, you're going to start noticing a different sound in your blender. It's going to sound kind of clunky a little bit. That's when you know that the mayonnaise is just about done. So our mayonnaise is basically done now. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and let me stir it up just a little bit because sometimes a little bit of the oil sits on top. Get it stirred in. And look at that guys, mayonnaise, that easy. And it's really creamy and I know exactly what is in there. Right, to make our rub, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of brown sugar. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of kosher salt one tablespoon of paprika one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of cumin and teaspoon of basil teaspoon of garlic powder and then just give that a good stir get it all mixed in so one of the benefits of living in the Northwest is the abundance of fresh fish, especially salmon. So what I have for you today is some fresh coho. Um, I, our local grocery store had this, really good price. If you bought the whole fish, it was only $6.99 a pound. I just had the, the butcher fillet it for me. So I'm actually only cooking half the fish today. Um, this is the half. So the mayonnaise that I made a little bit ago this might sound weird but the reason I wanted to make it in front of you was to show you that it's mostly oil um, the eggs and seasoning so it's really not gonna be that weird so I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these up for you and then I'll get the other one ready and we'll get them on the grill all right so we want to take some of that fresh mayonnaise that we made we're just going to spread it onto our fish. 
Now we're not looking for a super thick coating. All right, then next we're gonna take some of that rub that we made and let's just sprinkle it all over. The mayonnaise really helps the rub stick to it also, one benefit. But the oils in the mayonnaise is gonna make this extra juicy. As you can see I got it on cedar planks too. Um, these are kind of small cedar planks, it's all that I could find. Um, so that's why I cut the fish in half. And I had these been, the planks have been soaking for about three hours now. And the last thing we're gonna add is some freshly grated Parmesan. Just wanna put that all on top of it. All right guys, we're back out here at the pit barrel cooker. Um, so today, we're obviously not gonna be hanging anything in it. So I have, you see I got the rack in there and we're gonna just be setting our cedar planks in there. Now, if you don't have a barrel like this, where we're looking, we're shooting for uh, around a temperature of 300 degrees. And it's gonna take the fish around 25 to 30 minutes, somewhere around there to, to cook. Um, and what we're looking for, you know, fish is something that, you know, people eat raw, so, it's not necessarily you have to get it you know super done you just need to get it done to like you like it so what i'll be doing for myself is i'll just be checking on the fish and seeing when it starts flaking and that's when it'll be done for me so like i said if you had a different smoker different even oven other pellet smoker whatever you have um around 300 degrees is what we're cooking at today So one thing with a pit barrel, even if you're not hanging stuff, you still need to put these bars in. It has everything to do with uh, airflow. So we'll go ahead and get these in. We'll get it shut up. And I'll check on it in about 20 minutes and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, it's been about 20, and I'd say it's been about 30 minutes, actually. If you can see, let me show you something. If you can see that. So look how it just comes apart like that. See how it's flaking? That's when you know it's done. When it just flakes out like that. Now, I'm gonna get these out of here, but just on a smoker at this low temperature like this, one thing we can achieve is getting that Parmesan kind of crispy up top. So I'm gonna show you how to improvise a little bit. You can do what I'm gonna do in your oven really quick if you want. Um, but if you've seen one of the earlier videos I did with a ham, it's gonna work out pretty good. Let me get it out and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Now if you saw my ham video, it was basically a honey glazed ham where at the end I hit it with a blow torch to basically um, caramelize the brown sugar. Um, we're going to kind of do the same thing here. We're actually, actually going to do the exact same thing here, but this time we got a little bit different purpose. To caramelize the brown sugar plus to um, hit a little bit of that parmesan that's on top of it. So all we're going to do is just have my little blow torch. You see me light stuff with it. I'm just going to hit it. You can see it start bubbling. And like I said, you can do this in your oven on broil. Just watch it because you don't want your fish to overcook. Because right now I'm just hitting the top of this. Our fish is basically done cooking.
I said, you just want the very top to, to go. So let me go ahead and get this other one done, and then we'll talk about whatever thing we've done. All right, guys, I got it all blow torched. Now, you don't, you don't have to do that. For me, I just like a little bit of crisp on top. Um, a little bit of black marks, you know. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. You can see how juicy it is. There's juices running out all on this board right here. Oh. All right, let me go ahead and give it a taste. I'm telling you guys, I know the menu sounds weird, but you gotta try it out. And the Parmesan, it is uh, optional. You don't have to do that. If you don't want the Parmesan, just don't worry about it. Just do your mayonnaise spread and your, your rub. And you'll come out just fine. Then you don't really need to, to hit the top of it. But well, guys, that's it for our mayonnaise rub Parmesan crusted salmon. I hope you give it a try. If you like it, go ahead and give me some comments. And if you got any questions, go ahead and leave those below too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.